in order to add the DX map, map from their string to our Blaze or or XIF Blazor project, we know we need first of all to add the DX stream library. So we come to the um, host page here and first of all we add the support for uh, jQuery because this uh, library use jQuery on part of their scripts so we add this line and change nothing in order to to fetch jQuery and then we add from the the CDN the there is stream teams and the there is stream library uh, as you can see here this mu this must match the project version your application is is running i mean if you are using sif uh, 22.2.3 well the cdn version you need to load to the project are uh, those one so take that into account and we just added the themes, the library, the jQuery support, and we need also uh, some kind of JavaScript function in order to render the DevStream map in our Blazor component, because the basic architecture we going to use in order to create a property editor and a list editor will be to have a common uh, Blazor component that will render the DX map from the string. And in order to achieve that, we need to create a JavaScript function that will have a render function and we'll use the, the component as, a, as an iframe to render the map. Let's show. Let's see the this function. We name it yes map. We name it maps .js. We'll find it here. So if you come here, you will see that we have the render map function, and we have some vari variables up here. We have the this map instance that will fetch the element with ID map. We will see that in a moment. We will have a map container. Sorry, we will have a map container that will be the element in which we will fetch the ID and then call the the render map function. We will have a map instance that will use that map container and we we call this the X map with the series of options needed in order to render the, the DX map. We have over here the different types of uh, maps we could use. We have row map, satellite, and hybrid. We end up using the first one, but this could be changed. Just change it the, the, array, the position of the, of the array element. And over here, this render map sped a uh, location array because the markers inside the DX map are represented using a kind of JavaScript object that, of type location that will have a tooltip with a text inside and will have uh, two values. We'll have a location with two values, a latitude and longitude. And uh, in order to to know the exact position where the market will be rendered. So we need to provide those markers to the render map function. And we did that as a parameter of the function. We will we will on the done the part of the application on the component, we will uh, serialize a, a class I will pass it as a JSON to the to the function, and then on the function we will call JSON parse the JSON we just have passed uh, to the function, and we, that will create an array of of mark uh, 
of mark objects that will be a realm of markers data that we we will pass later in this in this option of the mark instance. How this works? Well, uh, when the map instance is created, it expects a series of uh, of options. As you can see here, we have the zoom, we have the height, the width. Mm, we have we will also uh, provide a different market than the default one. In fact, the default one is just a, a circular. Uh, it's just a circle, and it, it don't look uh, like the normal market you will find in any in any map. So you could provide a more normal market image like the one we are just using here that comes with the DX map, map demo from the Express, but suppose you could use any, any image you want and just pass the URL in this option. These controls over here, well, this provide the support for the, for the, uh, the control you will see in the map on the right that are the zoom in, zoom out, and current location control. You could put this option, you could set this option to true or, or false. Also, see, zoom, hey, with marker icon source, control, and markers. Markers, as I was saying, it expects a array of location options to have as you will pass that option as a parameter of the render map function. And the, uh, with, with this option, the, the map will know the, the exact location of the, of the market it need to represent. Also, you could change the provider. Right now, we are using Bing for demo purpose. And you could provide a you will use Bing, Google, or Google Static and provide the right API keys for each of these products. And that, that would be all regarding the integration of the DX map with the with the Blazor Blazor with the Blazor solution. In order to use this, we just need to to come to the, for example, this is the component that will render the DX map. This component, as you can see, is just a div with the ID map. If you recall, you saw, you said you have that ID over here and you get that element and you have access to that element and you will use that div as the map container. This render map function will render the map inside that that div whenever you put the div the render will be the map will will be rendered there so this component have this div and in the code the code behind we just have a call to the yes runtime in order to use the javascript interrupt and in the on after render function we we call the render map and we pass it we pass to the that render map the array of location objects as you can see we use json convert that come from neuron soft uh, a serializer you will you will use any other serializer you want but we go for just for neuron soft and this array as you can see here, this array will be come to marker data. Okay, this are this element, this com this component you will see now. It receives a parameter named root marker data, data collection, and this root marker data collection is just a collection of marker data and marker data are just a location and total tip. Location is a string that will be latitude, latitude uh, longitude, uh, comma separated values for the specific location of the, the market and a total tip 
with the text uh, property in the inside that will be the will be used on the on the function in order to will be used on the DX map in order to to represent the tooltip when you click the marker. So okay, we we already see the component. We see the function will will render the map inside the uh, a container and okay we see the integration and now let's see what kind of object we will use to represent this this map with markers over right here we have a location location business object this location implement the imap marker interface this interface comes with title latitude and longitude and this object company will be used in order to to link uh, the this object with with the company so the company have a collection of locations in order to see the list editor uh, implementation but this free property uh, basically power the possibility of, of given the possibility of, of represent a market on a map. So we have the location and we create created a site that will have a location reference and well a location map this for edition, this part for edition and this part for representation. And just uh, say we have here the company. Uh, so as you can see, this company have a collection of location. So here we will have the list editor that will represent the the market component, the DX market grabber component, and on the other side we will have the the property editor. Okay, let's just take a look of the to the editors, and over here as you can see. We have a render that just will call this list view. And in the list view, we have the DX map wrapper component that will receive a root data market, root market data collection. We reuse the same component to represent the property editor and the list editor because the component expect a, a collection of markers. This root marker data collection is an object that comes with a collection of marker data. So if we pass only one, we will we'll, we'll end up ending up with just a marker on the map. And if we add more than one, we will end up with uh, more than one uh, marker in the in the map. So we could use them the, uh, in, a, in a property editor and in a list editor. Right here we will see the list editor implementation. And as you can see, we have a get market collection that will be called by, by this uh, parameter that the component is expecting. And over here we just are uh, getting the the data we receive from the from the editor and iterating this data and creating the market data object, passing to to it the the latitude and the longitude and the tooltip using the title from the i map marker object we receive. These two editors, by the way, use I, uh, are for IMAPS markers, so this could be reused in any other business object that implement this interface. Okay. The other is just boilerplate code for this editor. And coming to the property editor, we have the, again, the render, the render, will call the DS map wrapper component passing again the expected parameter that will be the collection the root market data collection 
that have inside the collection of market data. Let's take a look to the code behind. And in the code behind, as you can see, we have just one element to the collection. It will be market data. So it will be just a market data object that will be the value from, from from this property item. And again, the rest is just boilerplate code from, from the property item. So summarizing, in order to, to have a DX map, map on our exile place or application that represents an IMAPS marker type of object, we just need to uh, go to the host uh, file and add a, a jQuery reference to the developer CDN. And we need to add the Teams reference, the team links to the dev, dev string library and the dev string library CDN link reference. And in the case of the Teams and the and the DBStrand library, we need to match the, the current ver version of all of, of our XIF project with the one we are we are setting on the on the links. And we also need a JavaScript function that will render the map. The function expects a series of the function expects a collection of of market data object that we will provide through the to the component through the component and this collection will also have a series of, of parameters that we could use in order to customize the appearance and behavior of the of the dx map so uh, later we need to to create the component and the editor based in that component. I believe that will be all.